Wait a minute. When it comes to smart sunglasses, as of right now, I don't necessarily consider them all that smart until we have some augmented reality stuff built in, which seems to be a little bit further away. But although we don't have those, we do have somewhat smart glasses that have some speakers built in that allow you to listen to music while keeping your ears open so you can hear surrounding noises. As of right now, I've only tried one other set of smart sunglasses, and those were the Anchor Soundcore frames, and they were actually surprisingly good and better than I was expecting, although they basically just have speakers so everybody close to you can hear what's going on instead of just you, making it not much of a private experience. But today we have the Wara Tech Vibrato Bone Conduction Smart Glasses. So instead of having small speakers that everybody can hear, as far as I'm aware, bone conduction uses your bones with some kind of vibration so you can hear the stuff in your head without everyone else hearing it around you. I think that's how it works, and if it does work that way, that actually sounds pretty cool. With that being said, these are looking pretty nice. They are IP67 water and dust resistant. They have up to six hours of playback time along with 120 hours of standby time, and they're supposed to have some slim arms so they look like standard sunglasses. Unfortunately, they do have non-polarized acetate cellulose lenses that also have UV protection built in. Now, the unfortunate part was that they aren't polarized, but you know, some people don't want polarized. Personally, I like polarized, but you know, personal preference. With that being said, box looking pretty good. It looks like you can answer and hang up phone calls, listen to music, podcast, and more, along with that open ear bone conduction technology with wireless range up to 30 plus feet. I'm mean, gonna be honest, it sounds pretty good, so I'm hoping it's actually as good as it sounds. And it sounds as good as it sounds. Inside the box, we actually have a little snap, <laughs> whoa, snapping, that's pretty cool, snapping carrying case to keep them somewhat protected and clean at least, along with a proprietary magnetic USB cable, a microfiber cleaning cloth of course, and then we have the actual sunglasses. Okay, I mean, they got some weight to them. These are actually kind of heavy, although it's actually just the stems or the arms or whatever these are called on glasses. They look actually pretty nice, although, I mean, these are a little bit on the thicker side as far as the stems go, but I'm pretty sure when you're wearing them, they probably look a little bit more normal. Maybe? It's pretty close. I mean, I remember back when these first came out, they looked terrible. Although, these back parts that, I guess, fold to adjust? Maybe that's the bone conduction part? This does look a little bit thick, but it's gonna be behind your head, so I guess most people won't notice. But looking at these frames, the lenses actually look very nice. We do have these little rubber things for your nose. Personally, I'm not really a huge fan of those, but you know, sometimes they work. Got a nice matte design along with some chrome going around. The chrome does look pretty cheap. The black looks pretty nice. And I mean, it, it's a little bit heavier than I was expecting, so hopefully they work very well. Inside the right arm, we actually have the charging pin connectors for that magnetic charger which should actually be very easy, just just like that, and it automatically attaches on very easily. Where exactly are the button? Oh, it turned on, I heard that. Hello? Wait, how did I hear that if it's bone conduction? Wait a minute. Oh, true, there's also an instruction guide. So it looks like on the right side, oh, wait a minute, I see it. So this little circle right here, it's a little bit hard to see, but that's the main control button. We also have the microphone, Oh, I see a LED light down here too. We have the microphone along with the LED light with these little pinholes. I can hear it talking, and I guess really that's it? So you just press and hold the button on the side. It's like a touch sensitive button to turn them on and turn them off. You double tap the button to activate your voice assistant. Transmit the sound of the inner ear. You bend this behind your ear to make contact. Okay, I see that's how it works. Incoming calls, it'll beep and the blue light will flash rapidly. You tap the button on the right one time to answer, press it again to end the call. And if you wanna reject it, you press and hold the button for several seconds. The glasses will beep and the call will be rejected. If you're listening to music, you can't adjust the volume on the glasses themselves. You do have to use your phone, but you can play and pause your music by tapping it one time. So I mean, this is pretty simple. It's basically like some headphones in glasses form. So I guess let me see how these things fit. <laughs> kind of got stuck here, hold up. There we go. Hmm, okay, clear lenses. I guess I gotta bend this like literally on my ear like that. That's kind of weird, so it's not gonna be easy to just pull them off. Although I guess so, kind of just folds back. Although when I put them on, every time this thing folds, which is a little bit more tense, 
But yeah, just like so, I guess that's how you're going to wear them. Do I look good? I mean, I feel pretty good. I mean, they're pretty comfortable. Not too bad. They don't feel like the highest quality glasses ever, but you know, they're all right. So now let me get these powered on. I think that's them. We have the VBO1s. We're gonna tap on that to pair it up. Unsuccessful, okay. Okay, these things just won't pair. There we go, it took like five tries but it finally connected. Okay, so let's get these put on how they're supposed to be, like so. Wait, is that it? Okay, it took a couple seconds, but when I took them off, the music did stop playing. Let's see if it automatically plays when I put it back on. No, I guess not. So the anchor ones actually did that. When you took them off, they stopped, and you put them back on, they started playing. It was very cool. So now I guess I have to tap the side. It's not doing anything. We're not connected. <laughs> what? That's where they turned off. Okay, let's. So let's start playing some music. Take them off. That's weird. When I take them off, they power off. Shouldn't they just pause? Or maybe once you take them off, it's supposed to turn off because you're not using them. Let me turn them back on. So we're back on. Let's press play. Okay, work. Well, it paused. Play. Play. There we go. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, but like, they're not that loud. I mean, I'm pretty disappointed. These, I mean, they don't sound that good at all. They're very quiet. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna say that was kind of a good thing because people around you might not be able to hear you, but you could still hear them. And then it's just, it's still not loud enough. I feel like if you're out in an open environment with a lot of noise, you're not gonna be able to hear anything. You see, that's how loud it is, if you guys can even hear that. But then it just turns off, and the quality isn't that great. It's kind of muffled sounding, and if this is really what bone conduction is, I don't know what all the hype is, because it, as far as I can tell, this is basically a speaker going on here, and you just hear it by putting it closer to you. Well, I, I don't know, I was expecting some kind of magic scientific breakthrough where you can't hear anything, but it vibrates and then you can hear it in your head. <laughs> but that's not what's going on here. I mean, they look all right on me, I think, but the actual, I mean, seriously, just get the, the Anchor Soundcore frames. I mean, they actually have some decent audio quality. They're louder. Granted, it's louder so everyone else can hear it too, but you're generally gonna be wearing these outside, probably on the beach or something, so nobody's gonna care. And these, I mean, these, these just aren't up to par. I thought bone conduction was this crazy thing and I'm really disappointed. And if you happen to be wondering what phone calls will sound like, this is a raw, unedited audio sample coming right from the microphones in these smart glasses, right to your ears. No edits whatsoever, so what you hear is what you're gonna get. Hopefully they sound good, hopefully they're picking up my voice. If I happen to talk a little bit quieter, maybe it'll be a little bit harder, maybe we have some background noise going on because we're gonna be outside in public, running around and doing a bunch of stuff while we have these sunglasses on. But you guys be the judge and let me know how these sound to you. All right, so I just realized these actually came with a set of earplugs. So, I mean, I guess you're supposed to be able to put earplugs on and still be able to hear this because it's getting conducted through your bones. So that'd actually be kind of cool. So let me try to put on these earplugs. I've never been good at this. Okay, so I got the earplugs on. Now let's play some music. So yeah, these do sound a lot better when I hold them to my ears to make better contact. Although, the, I guess the problem is it's not getting good contact. So it's just the fitting that's a little weird because they do sound a lot better if I have them like this. And this is a really weird experience having the earplugs in because I could feel these in my ear, but then I'm like, it's weird that I can hear stuff. Well, at least the music. Okay, hold on. So now that I have them um, a little bit better on my ears, it actually sounds pretty good. It's actually a lot louder. Okay, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. You know what? 
Okay, if you actually get these fitted properly, you kind of have to keep messing with them, maybe squeeze them a little bit, get them a nice tight squeeze on your ears so they make complete and total contact. Even with earplugs in, you can actually hear the music, which is pretty trippy, to be honest. And it actually does sound pretty good. Yeah, I could definitely hear the music. It sounds pretty clear. Obviously not as good as having earbuds in, but you know, as far as bone conduction goes, not bad. Obviously there's no bass to be heard, but you know, it is what it is. You have your ears open or closed, depending on what you're doing. I mean, not too bad. I'm actually kind of impressed for the price. They're actually all right. I mean, you can even have them up like this and you can still hear it a bit. It's kind of like having your earbuds just dangling over your ears back when we had wired ones. But you know what? Not too bad. I'm actually kind of impressed. It sounds pretty good once you get the fitting right. So if you're looking for some bone conduction, smart sunglasses, these are actually a pretty good option. I feel like the design could be a tad bit better, but I feel like they do look pretty good unless you're really looking. I mean, I don't really like that you have to have this back here. I feel like maybe they should have the speakers going against the temples of your head or something to make it a little more uniform and normal looking, but I guess maybe these would be bigger in that case. I'm not sure, maybe it just won't even work because maybe it has to come in contact with your ears. I'm not 100% sure on all the technological stuff that goes into this, but you know, not too bad actually sounds pretty good. Okay.